Okay, Nico, I'm back. Hey, Andrea. Welcome back. I know it's been a while, but I'm here. Yo, guys, what is up? I am Drea Dreamer, and today I am back in one shot. I know it's been a while since I played this game, but, you know, I had to, like, finish up the year at college, so that was a thing that happened. And then, uh, I, I'm still figuring out my new schedule for the summer, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be cool. I promise. I'll get something out every week, at least. I'm um, still trying to figure it out, but yeah, so... I actually think today we're getting close to the end of the game. I'm not entirely sure how close, but I think we only have like a couple episodes left at most. Um, oh yeah, but something I wanted to do right now was I want to travel back... Actually, hang on. Um, what do I have? I have the water pill. Um, okay, so I need to... First things first, I want to fill this tube with water. Not entirely sure where I would do that, but I'm gonna find a place. Can I talk to you and will you give me water? I actually exaggerated. The effects of the pill were off in like a week. So all you have to do is just take another pill. Oh, cool. I guess water once a week isn't that bad. No? Okay, well... I'm gonna go back to where I started, and then I'm gonna see if I can get water there. And then I'm gonna do the fast travel thing, which I haven't done because I completely forgot about it. Hey. I remember this place. Yeah, I completely forgot about the fast travel thing until like, I was thinking, Oh yeah, what's coming up next in the game? And then uh, I was like, oh yeah, I still have to finish that thing with Maze. Uh, yeah, I remember you. Did I go in here? Probably did. Yeah, I did. What if I talk to you about, like, getting water? This big fish tank. Can I... Right, I can re Oh yeah, cool! Right, I can refill this tube with more water here. Nice, and then... Uh, nope. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Then, I can add this to that. So... Put the pill in the water? Yep. It dissolved really fast. Okay, so now I have the medicated water. And so now I'm gonna go outside. And... Uh... Oh! Okay, I get it. So I can fast travel to, like... Um... Places in the city now. Okay, can I go back up? Okay, I can. Cool. Awesome. So now I should be able... Okay, so I can't go back to a... So I can't go back to, um, like, other areas. I can only go back to areas... Mm-hmm. In, um... The current location. I don't know. I don't remember that, that sound effect being this loud. Oh. Well. Okay. So now. Just gotta. No, that's all I need to do. Alright. Let me just... Good thinking, Andrea. This water should really help this seed grow. Please. It sprouted a tiny leaf! Ah! Good luck, little plant. Okay. I have no idea what else I could do for that. So... I'm just gonna trust that I did everything I could for that plant. So Nico, how's it going? So it's been pretty good. Uh huh. Yep. Okay, good. Okay. So now I should be able to actually 
You can fast travel to the library. Yay! That's so nice. I wish I'd known that. So, um, this robot, I don't know if you have a name. The head librarian, George, is in the archival room upstairs. Okay. And, unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. I know, I know. Oh, okay, I have to have it out. Okay. So do I just, uh, authenticating barcode, executing facial recognition. I wonder what would have happened if I had come before I had put the, uh, thing on the thing. Before I had forged the, uh, library card. I know what I'm talking about. Photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. I feel good about myself. This music's really nice. I know I've mentioned it a couple times before, but it's like so nice. I love this music. Looks like an old phone. Probably the phone that was ringing before. It's full. Can I look around a bit? There's a plant. A small tree. And a small tree. Cool. So glad I took the time to look around. Hey, little fella. Hello. So you're gonna, like, save the world and stuff. Didn't think I'd run into you, but now I did. Hey. Um, thanks? So, like, what up? Can I get you anything? Yeah, I heard you can help me. I am not sure what I'm supposed to do now. I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. But how do I do that? You don't. At least, we don't. Oh, so like... Wait, is this George? Well, all of your eyes are like... Er, that's what I was gonna say. The uh, dots on the die are like your eyes. That's kind of weird. The tower's only got one teeny room in it. It ain't even got stairs. I bet you need Andrea's help on this one, pal. Exactly how? I don't know. But I bet you anything that sort of knowledge is in some mystery book somewhere. You mean, like a mystery book that I have now? Nothing in my collection fits the description, though. I love that they're using text speak. Like, cause that's... Uh, I love linguistic stuff a lot, and so like, I don't know. Never mind, I'm not gonna get into it, but I love text speak. Like, I, I don't... Yeah, I don't know, never mind. Uh, so, you're saying you need a strange journal. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Like, maybe this one. Also, what are you doing? Like, just, just cu curious. Like, you were so busy that you couldn't, like, help me out. But you don't seem to be in the middle of anything. Oh, I do have this book. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Where'd you find this? Somewhere in the Barrens, because that's got that symbol and everything. Here, let me read it. Aw, oh, seriously? He even used that language. Gotta translate this, man. I love George. Mind if I borrow this? Not at all. Sweet. It's gonna take a while, though. You cool with that? That's fine. Hmm. <sighs> Excuse me. Whoa, dude, you look wiped, kiddo. Huh? You look totally tapped out, dude. I look... What? You look like you're ready to take five. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Don't worry, I gotcha. I got a guest room in the attic down the hall. If you want to crash there, go for it. I love George so much. George is like my favorite now. Don't even know why. Just because... Probably because I actually talk like that unironically. The fridge is full of bottled, bottled water and takeout boxes. Okay. Yeah, probably because, like, I talk like that sometimes. Oh, these are shiny things. A book is poking out from the shelf. Oh, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Oh, cool. Another still life of some objects on my desk. Silver can recognize the objects, at least. Huh. Yeah, didn't, uh... Another fruitful visit to the Great Prophet's Day. She seemed in high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival more vivid than before. 
that Masai will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regrettably, she's unsure of the house's location. Yeah, we never actually found out where the house was. Rachel's was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He's been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing his children were endearing as ever. The older child Calamus has expressed an interest in reading. Wait, wait. I know these people. Awesome. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Wait. So they they were I think I'd figured out that they were talking about the author before. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Huh. I'm really curious about the author, because, like, there he's being built up a lot. And I kind of want to know who he is, but, like, I don't know. The book is poking out from the shelf. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to rec replicate our prototype. Oh, so this is the prophet. On the right... On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Oh. So, the prophet, prophet bot, the one we met, was not the first one. Okay. Interesting. Like, a lot of this world-building stuff, it's like, it's not necessary, but it is interesting. Can I read this? A book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Recording, regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? What? Regarding alternate... Four. That's four. Is this a meta thing? Like, there are six possible... I got an achievement called Bookworm. Is that like a meta thing? Like, there are six possible... Like... I don't know. That's weird. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Sure. And... Game closes. And... Game opens. Aww. You are so cute. What? Uh... Hey, Andrea? I guess you saw my dream? Yeah, I did. It was... Come on, let's go. Does it still say the same thing? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I am confuzzled. Alright, let's talk to George. Hey, you're up! Just finished translating this book for you. Oh, that was fast. What can I say? I'm all that in a bag of chips. Okay, I don't talk a lot exactly like this, but I talk very similar. By the by, it looks like this journal might be meant for Andrea. Oh? Here, check it out. Greetings, Andrea. If you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. Okay. You know who I am talking about, of course. Is it you? 
when you first arrived here with our savior, and no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide you we will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Andrea, on the other hand. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. That's all, we juiced it. Juiced what? I'm just saying that's the end of the book. The rest of the pages are torn out. Do you know what happened here? No. Bummer. I was hoping to figure out what he meant by saying window here. Oh, he's talking about the game window. Guess we'll leave that up to Andrea, huh? Right. By the way, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. Oh, that's just stuff with the yellow phosphor in them. The kind of stuff that glows forever, dude. Oh. I do have a piece of amber and feather. They're both glowing yellow. Hey, now that's what I'm talking about. Hold up, you only have two. Boy, cool. I got you covered, little fella. Here you go. Oh. Oh, it looks like you. The freshest face you've ever seen, eh? And it's all yours. Aw, oh, thank you. You're totally welcome. Well, I guess we'll be on our way. Peace out, little fella. You'll do us good. I know it. Okay. So, can I read that again? Okay, uh... Okay, wait. Do I not get the book now? It said, like... Computer stream says something about updated databases. So, what did the book say again? I am not super good at, like, hmm. three pieces of the previous sun, move the window, or around the window, follow the instructions. Hang on real quick. Okay, so I don't have that. Can I talk to you again and will you tell me? You'll go lost still. Want some hot tips? Yes, please. It says here in this book that you got to go to the teeny room at the base of the tower, all while holding those three pieces of the awesome glowy stuff. Once you got them, which you do, just stand in that room and Andrea will do something about floor patterns and windows. Okay. You're totally welcome. Well, I guess we'll be on our way. Peace out, little fella. You'll do us good, I know it. Okay. Well, actually, I think I'm going to end this episode here. We made some great progress today, and I'm so excited. It really seems like the end of the game's coming up. Which means next episode should be the last one. I know there- I've heard something about, like, a secret ending. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that, just because, like, not a lot of people watch this series anyway, and so, like, and it, uh, the ending is, like, a, a lot longer, I know, um, I think. I have no idea what it involves. I just know that there's like some sort of like secret true ending. Um, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that because it seems like a lot of work when, um, this series has already been going on for like over a month, I think. And, um, yeah, maybe over two months actually. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention, but either way, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you next time. Bye. Love you.